All right, students. Look, the first time you have it, solving an absolute value and an inequality can be kind of tricky for the following reasons. The absolute value has two potential answers, a positive answer and a negative answer. So we need to solve for both situations, one when the answer is positive and one when the answer is negative. Now, here's how we're going to do this. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a negative answer. Now, on my answer side, if you notice, the answer is positive 7, so I'm going to type in negative 7. The next thing I'm going to do is my inequality symbol points to the left. That's less than or equal to. So I'm going to still keep that symbol, less than or equal to. Now I'm going to create my answer side. The answer side says 2x minus 1 in the absolute value, so I'm going to type in 2x minus 1. Now, my positive now I'm going to create my positive answer. I'm still going to use a less than or equal to symbol. Now I'm going to include my positive answer, which is positive 7. Now, I'm now going to physically split each inequality up. Now, if you notice that the negative answer, negative 7, is on the left side. So, in line 3, I'm still going to keep negative 7 is less than or equal to 2x minus 1. Now I'm going to type in the word and. And that, that's going to separate this into two separate equations, but I'll be able to put both answers together at the end. Now, if you notice in line two that my positive answer, seven, comes to the right. So I'm still going to keep that. I'm still going to type in 2x minus 1, and I'm going to put add my less than or equal to symbol again, and then I have my positive answer, seven. And I'm going to solve for each one. Now, in line four, I'm going to add plus 1 on both sides, but I'm going to do it in my head. Now, if I add positive 1 to negative 7, I'll have negative 6. Still keep my less than or equal to sign. If I add 1 to negative 1, well, that just cancel. So I'm left with 2x. Type the word and again. Now, I'm going to add 1 on both sides here. If I add 1 to negative 1, that cancels. I'm left with 2x. Keep my less than or equal to symbol. If I add positive 1 to 7, I have 8. Now, I'll be able to divide by 2 on both sides, so I can cancel out this coefficient of 2. 2 divided by negative 6, negative 3. Add my less than or equal to symbol, again. 2 divided by 2, coefficients cancel, I'm left with just x. Type in the word and, again. Now, on my second inequality, I'm going to divide by 2 to 2x, that cancels, I'm left with x. Add my less than or equal to symbol. 2 divided by 8, 4. Now, if you notice, you have a variable x sandwiched in between negative 3 and positive 4. So, my, if that's the case, my answer at the end is, I'll type in negative 3, the less than or equal to symbol, the variable x, because x is in between negative 3 and positive 4. Type in, the, type in the less than or equal to symbol again. I have a positive 4, and I'm done with my.